Guys, this thing is so awesome. Thank you for having us here, of first course. of all. And I can't believe I'm in front of you guys. This thing is so big, it's so cinematic. Uh, Can you talk a little bit about your experiences uh, filming this, since it has so many parts and so many actors involved? Yeah, I mean, a huge part of it was um, the, the family dynamic, mm -hmm. right? And it's such a huge part of the show. And uh, us finding that and finding the magic in there uh, mm -hmm. was, was a journey, you know, throughout the whole season. And we gradually got better at it. We started to figure out what, what this, this family is, you know, yeah. and, and that doesn't just happen like that. You know, you have to work at it. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and then shooting those kind of scenes were the, our favorite, I think, mm -hmm. most of the time. And it, we, it felt, it, because it is so big and because um, Steve Blackman and, and our producers wanted it to, to really get, let the audience get the sense of the world that we live in, it felt like we were shooting 10 movies. Like the, just the camera angles alone and you know, we'd spend like six hours doing a scene with Steadicam and then they'd be like, okay, great, now we're gonna bring in the crane. And we're like, there's a crane in this yeah. shot? Like it just was, they, they really pulled out all the stops to help create this environment and this world that these characters exist in. And, um, and because we all splinter off so much in the show, like two characters would go off on this storyline. I mean, weeks would go by and I wouldn't see Robert. And then we'd like do a whole family scene and be like, oh, hey, friend. <laughs> like, yeah. But it just, it was, it, everyone was kind of orbiting in this crazy, it, it was insane. It just was, it was all consuming and, and also just so fulfilling. And then we all got to do so much of what we love and things that I think all of us never thought we'd do. Yeah, and the way you say it's shot, right? So Peter Horror, who directed the pilot said, you know, when we're doing rehearsals, he said, we're gonna treat this as, as if we're shooting film. Mm -hmm. Because we were shooting with an Aria Alexa 65, which is, you know, very yeah. few projects have sh been shot in this, so yeah. we have to treat it very carefully. So there was a lot, of, a lot of thought every time we would yell, cut, okay, great, let's talk about it, what's going on, all right. Mm -hmm. You know, stand back up. It wasn't like, all right, say that line again. It was actually, we had to start yeah. over again. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of patience. When you guys got hired uh, to, the, to the project, did you guys go and, and read the, the comics, the Dark Horse comics it's based on? And what did you guys think of that? Or were you guys already familiar with, the, with that particular comic before? I wasn't familiar at all. And um, so when I, I was asked to audition for it, I went and read the first one. and was like, whoa, this is crazy. Um, and so intriguing. And, and the illustrations were unbelievable. And it was a story that I'd never really like a superhero story, origin story, that I'd never really heard of before. Um, and so yeah, I was so drawn to it, just like visually, but also the family dynamic was really what drew me in for sure. Um, and then I think then getting cast and then moving on to shooting it, I think they were like, great, use what you know from the from the graphic novels, but don't that that's not gospel. We're gonna like move on and, and the characters will be deeper and more fleshed out and there's gonna be more emotion and more chemistry and, and, um, and also we, we were all very much encouraged to bring ourselves to these roles and, and make decisions for these pre-existing characters that came, felt like they were true to us as actors. One more question, mm -hmm. uh, the dance numbers. Yeah. <laughs> How long does it take to film that? Because that looks real complex and it's really, really good. Yeah. You know, weirdly, they, they're, they're the quickest. Those were the quickest things. days, yeah. yeah. Um, all the dances in it were, were done, you know, within a couple of hours, really. You, yeah. know, you just smash out all the angles and of what you need. They just kept the song on going. repeat and they just, we yeah. would just go for yeah. like 20 minutes and they'd be like, yeah, I like think we, we, we could. Prepped for, the, for, the, for the dance sequence that, that we did, we like did this, all this rehearsal and stuff to get the dance right. And then it kind of felt like this moment, this show moment that we had to get it yeah. right for. And then it was over before we yeah. even blinked. You I know? think we did it, ran the whole dance five times. And they were like, and they were like okay, yeah. cool, we got, we got it, it off. We were like, oh, I what? Think, <laughs> I think they gave me two takes for my, for my dance. No! I swear to God. No, way. no, I swear to God. That's all they needed, dude. That's two takes, needed. because honestly, it was gold, honey. Cause gold. I was so because I was so tired. Oh, really? <laughs> I swear like, to God, it was like, because I was wearing all this thing. They were like, all right, I was like, let's just do it one more time. And he's like, how many times can you do it? Just one more, that's it, we're done. And he's like, okay, great. And they only got it from one angle if you watch it again, it's just one angle. Moonwalking. Yeah, which I was. Hey, just wanted to thank Netflix and you yeah. guys for taking oh, the man. project so serious and it shows. Of course. Very good job. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate it.